Okay, I'm going to try and keep this brief. It's going to be difficult, but I'm going to give it a go. Um, now, this is a vegan activist or propagandist behind a fake farmer video. Uh, he's uploaded a video to Facebook where he gives his side of it. Um, and before I start, I just want to say full respect to him for uh, coming clean, uh, and particularly for like doing this video. Like, um, I think it's. Uh, brave of him and full respect and all that and uh, let's move on I'm gonna give my response uh, and I'm gonna try and make it brief as okay I don't really want my channel to be about me I just want it to be about um, animals and about the vegan movement and trying to help the vegan mov movement as much as I can coming up with new ideas and things like that however I did do something um, which some people didn't like um, so I did this uh, farmers perspective response to land of hope and glory and uh, recently it's got quite a few views, a few shares, and then so some people got a bit worried about it. Oh, this. Um, yeah, uh, I think before you change the title, it was around 15,000 views uh, on your channel, uh, on the Mirror video of it, on the Save Movement, it was 4,000 videos, uh, 4,000 views, and on Foot Soldier, I think it was about 2,000. Yeah, oh, this is gonna hurt the uh, movement. Um, some people thought it was a real farmer and some people thought it was a vegan activist, sort of maybe 50-50 or whatever. Okay, that, that's, um, I'm going to call you out on that, like, um, okay, going by foot soldiers' comments, like, but before I said, before I said anything, like, most people thought it was real. Uh, even after that, most people thought it was real. Uh, on the comment section of your video, um, the vast majority, I would say, like, over 90%, probably uh, maybe over 95% thought that it was uh, real. Uh, bear in mind, like, I imagine most of these people were vegans because of what they were saying. Um, and on the Save Movement video, there was uh, 50 comments and maybe two saying it was maybe fake. So, yeah, like 50-50, uh, no. Uh, we're thinking both ways. I saw it being shared, so I did mention it to a few people, said, oh, don't worry about it. It's someone I know or it's me. Uh, depending on who I, who I mentioned it to. And then some people I know sort of guessed it was me or, or, or knew straight away it was me. So I thought, well, a lot of people have seen it now. And then some of the people that I know um, actually said, uh, you know what, you should really take this down because it might hurt the, the, the movement. I'm really worried about it and things like that. Uh, and I saw some comments from uh, some other people. So I thought, okay, out of respect for the people I know and these other people, because we're all on the same side, I better take it down. I personally think it's quite a good thing and I'm really happy with it. I'm really proud of it. So I'm not sorry for putting it up. Um, I obviously didn't want to offend anyone and obviously don't want to damage the movement. So a lot of people, um, you know, if, if some people think it might damage it, then I'll obviously uh, change it. So what I did was I put the comment, uh, I've put the explanations all over. This is definitely a vegan activist and stuff like that. Yes, one of the... Okay, well, um, like, yeah, well done on uh, actually changing the title and stuff. Um, you did wait until there was like 15,000 views before you did this. And it seems the only reason that you did it was um, because some people in your movement or whatever, um, or basically buddies of yours or whatever, um, thought that it was a bad idea and might harm the movement. Um, it, it doesn't seem that you you have any concern that what you did was uh, deceive a lot of people um, and you could say intentionally or not like uh, it's like 15,000 odd views and all the comments were people thinking it was real and you hadn't corrected it it took um, it took until after Foot Soldier's video and some people kicking a fuss up before you did anything about it um, so yeah not only does it seem no concern about basically being deceptive and dishonest because I, I think it was dishonest um, there's also seems to be no problem. You don't seem to have any concern for uh, the fact that you've basically created an imaginary uh, person, an imaginary farmer, um, passed him off as real, depicted him um, watching extreme cruelty, right? Um, imagery of uh, cruelty, criminal cruelty in some cases, um, <clears throat> and then basically passed the guy off as a, a psychopath, uh, an evil, while he's uh, basically condoning what he's seeing on the screen, okay? Like, what, what that does, okay, because this is an imaginary creation of yours, people are gonna, it's gonna make people associate that with like farmers in general. So what you've done is you've misrepresented an entire group of people as complete psychopaths. 
uh, and evil um, and and you've done it in a way that is dishonest um, very dishonest that's that's what I think should be bothering you yes one of the important things I think is that people are going to do different things if you don't like what they're doing just carry on um, and do your own stuff so really this should be the end of this one whether you like it or not yeah um, like hopefully it is the end of this one and hopefully like less people make this kind of shit as a result of this um, but don't hold your breath because like if someone picks picks this up and runs with it it's got legs okay so um, yeah you better hope a bastard CL doesn't fucking get wind of it because I could see him ringing a few videos out of this uh, you know, you shouldn't really be concerned about it. Trying to convert your friends and family and strangers to being vegan is probably the best thing that we can do. So my main reason for making this video um, was because I spoke to lots of farmers, I spoke to them on the phone, um, and they were basically talking like this. You know, we've got loads of sheep, and um, obviously you can have dead ones and things like this, uh, you know. Like, as somebody uh, very famously said recently, um, context matters. So what you're talking about here is uh, you've been given some, you've been talking to some farmers. Um, do I believe you or not? I mean, you, you, at this position, at this point, you're quite a difficult person for me to believe. But let's say uh, you did talk to some farmers um, or whatever, uh, and that they said these things. Okay, that was in the context of you asking them a question um, and then them replying to it. What you did then is is create a fictional farmer who was supposedly watching um, cruelty extreme cruelty um, and criminal cruelty um, and then, then saying these things okay, in, in the context that he was watching like people stabbing and once stabbing like a, a cow pitchfork and stuff like that what, and these kind of things while they're saying these things that you've put into their mouth like it's just you're talking shit, mate. Sorry, you're talking shit. You know, we're here making money. They had no... So I asked them these sort of questions, and they were the sort of responses I got. Uh, obviously, none of them were interested in talking on camera. They did say they would. Oh, yeah. There's a reason I'd imagine why they wouldn't talk on camera, and it could be because they think you're going to misrepresent them. Um, now, you've just misrepresented them and kind of proven them right in the suspicions if that's why they wouldn't speak to you. And, and possibly another reason that they might not speak to you is because um, with this kind of uh, divisive um, and alarmist content that your people like yourself are putting out, which isn't everyone at all, by the way, um, there's going to be people in movement that are going to get very radicalized by this. You know, like for instance, uh, they might uh, see the video you did um, where farmers are psychopath or whatever and evil, and they might go and do something uh, violent or dangerous to a farmer because they feel justified. Okay, this is perhaps what some farmers are facing, or at least they think they're facing. Okay, like when someone like yourself might phone them up and say, "Are you going to video them?" Okay, they don't know the kind of people who watch your videos, and perhaps one of those people is uh, dangerous. Okay, and uh, is there dangerous people in your movement? There's going to be dangerous people in any movement, and the more polarized um, and fanatical a movement is, perhaps the uh, the more polarizing fanatical uh, dangerous people will be attracted to it or created within it so um, this is probably why they don't speak to you um, if, if, if indeed you have phone them up like I say like you're difficult to believe at this point anyway we're open you come down anytime you want come to the slaughterhouse I'm more than happy to show you obviously none of that ever happened and I think you'd really struggle to get a, a farmer to be open and honest so I thought I would do this to be a really honest and open farmer and like I'm just gonna play that bit again okay I just I just um, want you to, to listen to what you just said there I? none of that ever happened and I think you'd really struggle to get a, a farmer to be open and honest so I thought I would do this to be a really honest and open farmer and so like you just you portrayed a fictional fake um, evil stereotype of a farmer to be open and honest okay see what they would say so i did say in the description of the channel may or may not be this type of farmer might not even be a farmer at all i did say perspective uh, i did i did read that and it was very uh loosely written um and also it was kind of hidden away most people aren't going to dig uh, that deep the farmer at all i did say perspective you know, so some people say, oh, it's dishonest. Well, oh, you did say perspective, like, uh, 
No, like you presented it as a real farmer. Most people, the vast majority of people, took it as a, a real farmer, going by the comments uh, that I could read, unless you were deleting them. Um, but I don't think so because uh, on the other places where this video appeared, the comments were the same. Uh, so the, the vast majority of people thought it was real. Um, so you, you can't get off on this technicality. Cause like you, you knew how people were taking it. You knew that people thought it was real and you did nothing about it. Well, I, whether it's dishonest or not. Okay, so hopefully a farmer will come along and say, well, this vegan activist is a liar and he's trying to make us feel bad, you know, make us look bad. So what I'd say to you is, you do your video and show me what a real farmer would say. Because I believe, and I truly believe, this is the only thing you can say. I empathised with the farmer, I think. I said it as it is. I would absolutely love a farmer to look at this and say, that's absolute rubbish, and then do it. Do it for real. That, that would be good. So. Yeah, well, maybe they will, but uh, maybe they just kind of want to distance themselves from engaging with... Um, like your your community or whatever because of uh because of stuff like this like what you've done maybe they think that you you're actually dangerous um and your best is not to even be be talked to that would be good so again sorry if i upset anybody didn't mean to i don't want to upset anyone and i do lots of things that maybe upset people but my intention like all of our intentions is just to try and turn the world vegan does does the end justify the means and again, this channel is not supposed to be about me. It's supposed to be about uh, the animals. And uh, the less that I have to stick my face on here, the better. But I'm putting my face on here. Your face is quite pretty, man. It's on here so that people don't say, oh, he's scared, he's embarrassed. And I'm not scared and I'm not embarrassed. I don't, I... And uh, full respect for that. I'll, I'll give you respect for that. I don't care. Um, okay, so anyway. And let's find a farmer. Go and find a farmer and get them to do this. That's what you need to get from this. So either go out and veganize people, go out and turn people vegan, or find a farmer, sit him down in front of uh, Land of Hope and Glory and get his real response. I'd love to see that. Okay, go vegan. And yeah, I'd love to see that too. Um, that would be that would make for a definitely very interesting video. Now, now if somebody goes and does that now, um, how are they gonna know that it's a real farmer and not a a vegan uh, activist pretending to be a farmer. Hmm. Hmm. Hmm.